हेलो नमस्कार प्रिय वर्ड एवरी वन सो दोस्तों आज मेरी पोस्टिंग है ई डिपार्टमेंट में एंड राइट नाउ इट्स नाइन ओ क्लॉक एंड वी विल बी गोइंग टू द ऑपरेशन रूम सोम सो लेट्स गो एंड सी हाउ द ई एन टी पोस्टिंग गोज एंड देर विल बी सेवर ऑपरेशन ऑफ द मैक्सिलरी साइनस एंड एथेमोडन साइनस मेडिकुलर साइनस सो स्टे कनेक्टिंग एंड आई विल शो यू एवरी थिंग आई विल शो यू द पेशेंट्स पोस्टिंग टू friends as you can see that we have reached the endoscopy room and the doctor is cleaning the endoscopic instrument and for just for today our patient is temporary patient is mr jitu so first of all we will be doing the endoscopy of uh, throat so for that uh, doctor is just uh, saying the jitu to open the mouth and uh, to make the suitable position for the best view here he is holding the tongue uh, and uh, right now he just <clears throat> made the position so that the endoscopic instrument can reach the proper throat so as we can see on the th- uh, screen now that uh, there is an epiglottis and uh, the position of the epiglottis while going a little bit deep we can we will be also able to see the vocal cords right now we are seeing that uh, epiglottis is in just fine condition and uh, <clears throat> it's a muscular flap and uh, he's uh, it's performing well now and after that you can see that uh, they are trying to make the sounds of the vocal cords e and a uh, that uh, we can get the exact position and the uh, structural uh, any damage or anything abnormality is present then we can get to know about it so guys as you can see that uh, now we will be doing the procedure of ear as it's posting of ENT where we have already done the diagnostic of throat and uh, now we will do of ear after that we will be doing of nose as we can show that it's a tympanic membrane and it's showing the differential structures present in the tympanic membrane right now so if there will be any abnormality perforation or anything will be present in that tympanic membrane then uh, we can see it through the endoscopy then right now we are doing the endoscopy of nose and he is just uh, showing us the turbinate of the nose if there is any uh, sinus problem means uh, maxillary sinusitis or any of the abnormality present in the nose then we can see it in the endoscopy so right now after doing the endoscopy we can also see the whole videography done in the endoscopy in the screen too i will show you the interaction with the patients too so stay connected and guys here's our first clinical visit to the patients in the ent department right now our doctor is explaining that what type of surgery has been done to this patient as we can see that uh, there is some problem of the sinus to the patient and uh, after doing the <coughs> surgery there is some chances of epistaxis there was some bleeding inside the nose so and it's another case of the sinusitis uh, which has been operated just 3 uh, days before and he is just explaining us the each and every case so that we can understand the complications and the several results which we will be getting after seeing the patient in our future so finally the time came to go to the ot operation theater and right now we uh, the group of five students we just went to the ot and right now he is explaining or doctor surgeon is explaining us to the each and every instrument which will be used inside the operation theater right now we will be going to an, uh, another operation this one is operation of tonsillectomy right now which we will be seeing and uh, mainly uh, this is an uh, operation of a girl who is uh, just 8 years old and having several problems of the uh, tonsillitis and uh, she is also having problem of pharyngitis as we can see the procedure right now uh, surgeon is trying her best to remove the tonsils and uh, to remove the residual tissues present uh, nearby the uh, tonsils
as we can see that uh, tonsil tissues has been removed and uh, these are the tissue which uh, has been removed and with as you can see the cotton goes uh, which are used to absorb the bleeding too so this was the main procedure uh, which uh, occurred in the ot number one so guys we generally have three ot rooms uh, one is for the pediatrics second one is for the any of the uh, <coughs> throat problems and the third one is for the uh, nose and the ear so right now the procedure is being done in the operation theater room number two so uh, we will be going in operation theater room number one soon so right now we are going to the operation theater room number one where will be the operation of the cholesteatoma means there is an infection of the mastoid bone uh, that's a typical type of ear infection uh, which generally involves the cholesteatoma and several type of deposition inside the mastoid bone so right now the preparations are uh, undergoing actually for the special operation of the <coughs> mastoid bone we generally need the microscopic uh, instruments uh, to improve the visibility so right now our doctor is just uh, showing us the uh, ct and the another diagnostic results uh, which will be used uh, by the surgeon while doing the surgery uh, now he has just done the initial incision and right now we will be operating so stay tuned stay connected and see the operation